Hello, my friends. Happy Mother's Day. I am so excited to be here with you on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms of human children and furry children and winged children with feathered children and any kind of thing that you consider a child. A happy Mother's Day to you. I think we are all equal in this world of motherhood, whether you have a human child or an animal child. So, um, yeah. Yeah, or you know, maybe you are a mother to your friends. Maybe you you are a caregiver to people that you know around you. You are a mother, so happy Mother's Day to you. Um, let's see what's up in makeup this week. Uh, it wasn't as eventful as I had hoped this week. My my face blowing out. I feel like I'm like <gasps> my face is too bright. If I do this, my face gets really bright. It's like Wah! extreme close up. Um, but yeah, I feel like my face gets really bright, so I'm gonna have to try to back up a little bit. Okay, um, let's see. What's up in makeup this week? Uh, not a whole lot that was like super exciting. I mean, I started off with like the Coastal Scents uh, lipsticks because I'm really excited about them, but I don't know if anybody else is really excited about them. So I don't know if that was appropriately placed, but I think they're really cool. I think the packaging looks awesome. Um, I have a lot of Coastal Scents products that are not eyeshadows, uh, and I really like my Coastal Scents products. I'm not a big fan of their lip glosses so I'm curious to know what's going to happen with the lip sticks uh let's see what else uh what else should I talk about there's six people here so there's gonna hopefully there's some questions for me so let me go ahead and go over to the video and hopefully there is a chat window we'll see is there a chat window no no chat window this week or maybe there is a chat yes there is a chat window yay okay we get a chat window this week that makes me happy maybe this is a permanent thing okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the comments and questions what we're gonna do differently this week and I should have put it in the description um, is if you have a question that's specifically for me you're gonna type Jen in uh, capital letters and then put your comment let me go ahead and put that down in the description real quick because I want to make sure that everybody gets that message okay I'm gonna type that in if you want to ask uh, me a question or if you want me to read your comment make make sure to to type Jen in all capital letters before your comment that way I can make sure to see it. Thanks. All right, saving it. Uh, should I put it up higher? Maybe people won't be able to see it if I put it there because I just realized it's below the, okay, let's do this. Let's copy this. Bump. One a minute. Sorry, no technical difficulties. Please stand by. Technical difficulties. Please stand by. All right, I just want to make sure people know that because I forgot about that until I just saw the comments. Okay. There we go. All right. So Sarah says, good morning. Good morning to Sarah. Good morning to Mary. Happy Mother's Day. I'm a little tired this morning, but thank you for asking. I've got my coffee, so I'm good to go. I watch your six drugstore pals review. Um, well, all of your videos and just let me say I love your honesty. Thank you so much. I try really hard to um, really give a good, I kind of really analyze the, the products before I talk about them. Uh, that way I can give you a really accurate picture of what I truly think. Like I really make a conscious effort to think about things, you know, because, you know, you put makeup on it. Sometimes it's easy to forget what's happening. So I try to really, um, you know, really think about it throughout the day as I'm applying it, things that I would want you guys to know. So. You are very welcome. Uh, I wish that some of the so-called beauty gurus have money subscribe sub subbies could be real and honest. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Um, you know, I, I to each her own. I mean, everyone wants to run their channel differently. It's their channel, and uh, they can do with it what they like. I'm gonna do what I like, and I don't see that changing anytime. I really don't. Um, you know, so you're welcome. And yay. <laughs> and then Mary says she has a two part question. First, I don't know if anyone has asked this already, but how will you be doing things for the summer? Will you do the live chat on Sundays or will you once in a while do it on a weekday? And will you be uploading more? I will definitely be uploading more. Um, I do want to keep the Sunday chat. Um, I don't know. I might 
I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I think that uh, we're going to have to talk about that as a crew, as far as what we want to do over the summer, as far as the chat. Do we want to move it to like later in the day? Do we want to do evening chats? Like, what do we want to do? So I want, I want more people to have an opportunity to join because I know this is really early in the morning for a lot of people, especially people on the West Coast, some people in other countries. Like, this is not a convenient time. Uh, so I, I do want to accommodate a lot more people. So we'll see. I haven't decided on that part. Uh, the second part, I know this is not makeup related, but I was watching a Prego Diaries. Those are my old uh, pregnancy videos back on my old channel, which was Jen Love 37 And I saw the one where you were talking about names. How did you come with come up with Lila? Um, my daughter, my, my seven-year-old is Lila. Um, we, we had a really hard time naming her. Uh, because I didn't, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to name her because I hadn't met her yet. So we had a couple of names in the bank. We weren't quite sure what we wanted to name her. Um, my great grandfather's name was Larry, and my mother's side of the family, my cats are about to fight. <laughs> they fight a lot. Um, my my great grandfather's name was Larry, which is, um, and that side of the family is Jewish. And in the Jewish tradition, you name uh, children after the first letter of. Uh, the name of a deceased person that you loved so that was part of it also my last name is really 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 long so i wanted lila to have a nice easy name to go with that really long last name um and we just really liked it and that song hey there delilah was really popular right then and i would take took a nap and i woke up and the song was playing and it was like oh i don't really like delilah but lila's kind of nice so long story short too late that's kind of how i came up with lila um and and it's been a, kind of a challenge with, with that name because people want to call her Leela. Um, people aren't used to it. But, you know, it's it's a good name. We really like it. She likes it a lot. Um, she's very happy that nobody else has her name. And growing up as a Jennifer and having, you know, four Jennifers in my class, I really wanted her to have a unique name. All right. But well, that was a great question, Mary. Thank you so much. Let's get into some makeup stuff. All right. Uh, Gold Digger says, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you, too. I haven't seen you in a while, I don't think. Um, Tyler, happy Mother's Day. Hope it's awesome. Thank you. Uh, Helen says, hi, Jen. So glad I could make it. Me, too. Happy Mother's Day. And when you say happy Mother's Day to me, I am saying happy Mother's Day to you, if applicable, because I sometimes feel weird because I don't know if you're a mom uh, or so. I don't want to, you know, I'm saying it back to you. Uh, Laura, on happy Mother's Day, Jen. Hope your day is awesome. Thank you so much. Tracy says, good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Good morning to you, Tracy. Good morning to Roxanne. Good, good afternoon to Charlotte. Love from Belgium. Oh, so exciting. Eat some chocolate for me. Is that too stereotypical? Uh, Bam says, good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Hi, John John. John John's wearing his nightgown. Hi, buddy. Can you see John John's nightgown? This is his nightgown. He got it from his sister. <laughs> And now he's wearing his nightgown on camera, and that's okay. Because if he loves his nightgown, he should be wearing his nightgown. Right? Yes. All right, go play. Bye. <laughs> Looks like what? I'm in the middle of chat. I'll, I'll play with you after I'm done with chat, okay? No, why? I know you want me to play with you, sweetheart, but I'm doing chat. But I'm going to be done in a little while, and then we'll have all day. Okay, so I just need you to go play for just a little while, and then I'm gonna, we're going to have all day together. Okay? Feel bad. Buddy. Hey, hey, John. Can you come entertain our son? Go for daddy. Woo! The dog is now destroying my setup. We got the, the boy in here. Okay. It's okay. I'm going to come hang out with you all day, buddy. Just give me a little bit of time. I'm going to hang out with you all day feel bad i'm sorry i'm sorry guys okay let me see if i can get back to this um beauty hall 411 happy mother's day thank you so much yodelin good morning from british columbia helen says coastal says lipstick look super I, I think they look cool too um jessica says happy mother's day another jessica says happy mother's day uh flecka says happy mother's day um, Beauty Hall 4 and one I'll be ordering some of the Coastal Sense lipsticks to check them out. They look very nice. Let me know how they are. Uh, Laura Ferguson, good morning, Jen. I've been watching for a few weeks now and really enjoy having this in my Sunday routine. Yay, it makes laundry more tolerable. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to have a longer video on, like when in the shower, like I have one of those like little speakers or whatever. And I like to, I find like the longest video on my subscription feed and just roll it while I'm in the shower. Or like when you're doing something, it's nice to have, you know, something on in the background. Uh, let's see. 
Happy Mother's Day to a mom of eight fur babies. Oh, <laughs> then you are a mom. That's a lot of eight, eight babies, eight fe feline fur babies. Oh my goodness. I bet they all love you so much. Uh, Flory, good morning to Flory. Kimberly, good morning. Happy Mother's Day. What are your favorite high-end eyeshadow palettes? Um, well, if you, if you count limited edition ones that are no longer available, I'm not going to go into those. Uh, because they're not available anymore, but right now I've really been digging my um, Sorry, we have the windows open and that motorcycle is very loud um, I love I'm really digging on the sugar pop by Too Faced really loving that right now Also really loving the interstellar by Kat Von D. Those are kind of my two favorites right now that I've been really digging into a lot um, Yeah, that's and then this one here the Lorac Pro 2. I really love a lot Those are kind of the ones I've been digging in the most that aren't limited edition as far as the ones that aren't available The Kat Von D book of book of shadows that was a couple years ago and the Lorac Mega Pro But those aren't available anymore. So we won't go into those uh, But yeah, those are my favorite high-end palettes Yodelin says Jen Have you have you had a chance to try the makeup forever pro fusion bronzer? No, uh -uh. I haven't gotten there yet I probably won't. I'm not too good with bronzers and contouring yet, in case you guys haven't figured that out. Um, I'm still practicing with my, my contouring action. I feel like I haven't mastered it yet, but I'm working on it. And as far as bronzers, um, I, I have enough bronzers right now that unless something is really innovative and unique, I probably won't purchase any bronzers anytime soon. Jessica has a funny story for me. Okay. Jen was, oh, she's telling a story. Jen was one of the first YouTube channels I ever subscribed to. I had no idea people had makeup collections. I won one of Jen's giveaways and now I'm obsessed with makeup. I remember that, Jessica. I forget what you won, but I remember your name and sending it out to you. There are certain things that stick in my head. That's very exciting. All right. That's awesome, though. I'm really glad that you, um, you've gotten into makeup. Now, hopefully you, uh, you aren't spending too much money on my vault. <laughs> uh, Nisi says, hi, Nisi, again. It's good to see you again this week. Great blog she found for guys and gals who love gift with purchase deals is GWP gift with purchase. Okay, GWP addict wordpress.com. She's addicted to the blog. Awesome. Very cool. That's really good to know. So if you are interested in that, if you like um uh gift with purchase deals, you can uh, find Nisi's post and she's got the um the blog post there. Uh, Sanders says, hi, Sanders. Good to see you. Sanders is my IMATS friends. That we, we, this is the second year in a row I've got to hang out with Sanders a bit at IMATS. He's a really nice guy, has a great channel. Uh, Nikki6542, hi, Jen. I've been sick the last few weeks, but happy to wake up to breakfast in bed. Yay. And my alarm going off for the show. Did you also see on NC Blong? Oh, the Nouveau Cheap Blog, Sephora Favorites Bronze Bears All Set. No, I missed that one. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. Interesting. Four full and four deluxe. Oh, no way. Yeah, it's not on the Sephora website yet. That's weird that I didn't catch that on the Sephora website yet. You know the Sephora favorites kits? How they had now they had the uh, the primer one, and now she's telling me there's a bronzer one. That's smart of them. That's smart of them. There's a NARS one, an Urban Decay one, a Bite Beauty, a Becca, a Tarte, and uh. Tart TF. TF is not resonating with me. Oh, Too Faced and Sephora. And it's $39. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> That's smart of them because bronzers are like all the thing right now. Contouring and bronzers. Oh, my goodness. All right. And then Nikki says the seal of blush looks identical to the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation with the netting. Oh, really? Interesting. I've never seen one with the netting. Huh. Cool. I guess some everybody's invented everything, you know, something, there's nothing new. I thought it was new. She said powder foundations work better for her. Liquid isn't her friend. Yeah, liquid can be really difficult to work with. Sometimes it sets too fast and then it doesn't blend. Beauty by Tara B. Good morning. Yay. Happy Mother's Day. So happy you're here, Tara. Okay, Nikki says also HSN, they have $20 off and a $40 purchase for new customers. Ooh, that's neat. And then she's got the code there. Ooh, so if you want $20 off of a $40 purchase at HSN and you've never shopped at HSN before, the code is, uh, Nikki's got it there at 6543. Nice. All right, Kirstie Wallace. 
top three YouTubers I like to watch. Sanders. Ha. Um, I, I mean, lots of people. There are a lot of people that I've been loving lately. Oh, my goodness. Um, puts me on the spot because I have so many friends here on YouTube that it's like, who do I pick? You know, there's so many channels that I absolutely love. And I gave John my phone. There's been some really big standouts lately of channels that I've been watching a lot. Um, I've been watching a lot. Kristen Game is always one of my favorites. Um, who else? Um, Cassie from Thrift Thick. I never miss her videos. Karina Kaboom. I know she's a little angry sometimes. And I, Karina's watching this. I love you, Karina. But you're a little angry sometimes. Um, but I watch all of her videos. It's a nail polish channel. Um, and she, just the way she describes polishes, she gives a really good, like she talks about how many coats they go on and she's like, you know, two thin coats, one thick one. And she talks about the finish and she talks about why she likes it, why she doesn't like it. She's really good at, um, at, uh, polishes and, and describing polishes. Another one that just came back and I hope he stays because I love him is a channel called the Fragaholic. And there was a rumor that he was dead. And it was a rumor for like a year, but somebody commented on my comment, like, um, I left the comment like nine months ago and somebody left a comment too bad. We'll never see him again. And I was like, what in the world? So I looked back and it was like, the, he's on the top, you know, 100 deceased YouTubers list. I was like, oh my gosh, like, I hope he's not really dead. So I don't know, but like, oh, like yesterday he puts up a video saying he's being he's really disturbed that people are saying he's dead so it must have been it might have been because of the people commenting to my comments he only got like 10,000 subscribers but he is the best perfume reviewer on the planet the fragaholic oh my goodness if you want to learn how to review perfumes or if you're curious about perfumes he mostly does celebrity perfumes the best perfume review channel ever well one of the only perfume reviews channels i've ever seen but it's amazing and he's so stinking funny he's hilarious like i die over this channel that's i didn't mean it like that because people said thought they thought he was dead but oh my gosh best channel you've got to see him um he's only of course he just came back and sometimes he says he's coming back and then he makes one video and then he goes away for three months but i really hope he stays because he's amazing i know that was a really long answer there's a lot more people that i like to watch i mostly watch i'll tell you this there are very few channels that i watch that are over a hundred thousand subscribers one that i watch i watch andrea Mitigliano. i watch um gem beauty 89 i watch melissa raymond um but that's pretty much it for channels over 100,000 subscribers because I don't, I typically stop liking people after 100,000 subscribers because they, they end up getting weird, really weird. Um, and I usually end up unsubscribing. I usually start getting annoyed and unsubscribe. So I would much rather watch people that have 10,000 subscribers or 2,000 subscribers or 500 subscribers than somebody with 500,000 subscribers. That's just me. I don't really get the appeal of the perfect face and the perfect background, but no personality. I don't get that at all. But that's what people like sometimes, I guess. I don't know. And I, I, I sound so like such a brat right now. I sound like such a brat. I don't mean to sound like such a brat. But it's just like I feel like there are so many really good, solid channels that don't necessarily have the perfect everything, but have really good videos. And I just wish that they got more attention. You know what I mean? So, I mean, like the Fragaholic. I mean, you look at his videos, they're not the 100% best quality, he doesn't have the most beautiful background, but man, those videos are awesome. So I don't know. Hopefully I didn't come off as a brat, but you know, I, I feel like I'm talking to my friends here and I feel like I can just kind of blah, blah, blah it out there. And I've never been one to hide who I am or what I think or what I believe, even if people don't necessarily agree with me. So, you know, mm -hmm. all right, moving on, moving on from that. That was a long answer. All right, Nikki says, uh, let's see. She's, talk she's talking about more sales. All the two faces, free shipping, semi-sweet palette. My goodness. Okay. Kathy says, good morning, Jen. I love the intro music to your videos. Thank you. It makes her smile. Missed last week. Any chance you would do some cooking videos again, like on your other channel? I would really like to. The problem is, is there's only so many hours in the day. You should see the stack of papers I have to grade. It's stupid. It's stupid, the stack of papers. I showed my one of my classes yesterday. I was like, this stack of papers is what y'all turned in yesterday. So there's a reason why it's not in the grade book yet. Just they have online grade book. So it just, my point is, is that I would like to do cooking videos. I just don't have time. Um, I'm having enough trouble getting my current content out without adding a whole nother topic, but I really, really, really want to maybe one day if I can stop um, teaching and do this full time, then I could do um, more of that. I would really love to revive Gen Love 37 and do like a vlog channel over there. I think that would be amazing. So I would really love to. 
Sarah says, good morning, Jen. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Me and my seven-month-old Jovi are watching together. Oh, give Jovi a big squeeze for me. Happy Mother's Day. Happy first Mother's Day. Oh, uh, let's see. Lisa says, good morning. What's a good foundation for summer? Okay, I mostly use BB creams in the summer, to be completely honest. I don't use a lot of foundations. Uh, let's see. What are some lighter foundations? Hmm. That I like. See, like I have this one. This is the Buxom Show Some Skin Weightless Foundation, but I'm not a big fan of this. It doesn't have good lasting power. Uh, let's see. Lighter, 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 lighter. Mm -hmm. I need, I need, I need new ones because I really don't feel like. I don't know. He's like, see, I need new makeup. Like I need a hold in the head. All right, hold on a minute. Um, well, the Garnier BB Cream, I really, really like this a lot. Um, I would definitely recommend this one. This one is a little bit more full coverage, though, for a BB Cream. It's got a really nice coverage. Uh, no, man. I really like my Hourglass. I would imagine this is going to be really great for summer because it's pretty light. The, um, the serum foundation, I guess it's like a serum foundation. It's liquid to powder foundation, mattifying foundation. I really like that a lot. I would imagine that's going to be good, uh, but I haven't used that yet for summer because I just got it this year. See, a lot of these I just got this year, and I don't think they're selling this anymore. I love this. This is the Pond's BB Cream. I don't think they sell this anymore. This, this is what I used all summer last year, all summer last year. But I don't think they sell it anymore. Um, I don't know what my kids are doing. Okay. Yeah, I mean, those would definitely be the ones I'm looking forward to using. Yeah, I mean, I wish I could give you more recommendations. I need to um, try out some more things this summer because a lot of the, the stuff that I was using last summer, I don't have anymore. So I need to re-up on my BB cranes. All right. Uh, let's see. Jessica says, do you know anything about IT Cosmetics? I've looked through your older videos and didn't see anything. Yes. Um, I do have quite a, a little bit of IT Cosmetics stuff. I have this. This is the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. Hey, John, John, can you go out there, buddy? You're being distracting. I need you not to bring stuff in here, sweetie, because people are trying to focus, and it's hard when there's a little person run by. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it cosmetics naturally pretty. A lot of people don't like this. I love this. Um, they, they people say that it muddies up. Um, I don't have that problem. I've never had that problem with this muddying up. Hopefully, it's not doing too much of a glare. I'll put that away. But I really like this palette a lot. Um, some things that I have that I don't really like. I've got. Let me show you my highlighter. I don't like this highlighter at all. This is the Hello Light Cream Illuminator. It just got really hard, really fast. Um, it dried out really fast. Um, I don't. I don't like this highlighter at all. It's pretty terrible. Um, another thing that I didn't like at all was the um, It Cosmetics, the Tight Line Full Lash Length Black Primer. Or I guess that's what it's called. Full Lash Length Black Primer with Peptide Enhancing Serum. Um, this was supposed to be for your tight line. Um, it's this weird little brush. It worked for about a month, maybe two months before it dried out. Uh, and I don't really like this product. Uh, let's see anything else from it cosmetics that I have their brushes are amazing The brushes are fantastic uh, The powder brush I had the big huge powder brush the handle broke because I used it so much Let me see if I even still have it here. I might have put it away because now it's like a nub <laughs> All it is is like the, the falling nub and the, the stick is gone um, but they, their brushes are amazing. Uh, they're really, really good. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I own by It Cosmetics. I think that's it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if I was going to say try anything first, I would say the brushes uh, and their eyeshadows are pretty good, too. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Roxanne said my son's adorable. Well, thanks. He, he's cute. He just, you know, he's strong-willed, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, let's see. What? Lori says she got six inches of snow. You Are you kidding me? That's insane. Oh, Lily's here. Hi, Lily. In Colorado. Holy moly. That's crazy, man. I've never heard of such a thing. All right. Definitely. The person that's definitely, and I can't pronounce your name. Oh, Shana. There we go. Thank you so much. for. I was just about to ask you to put it phonetically. Shanna. Shanna, if I said that wrong, let me know. Shanna. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, Jen, from the Philippines. What was your YouTube channel before? It was Jen Love 37 
that's why we're why I'm Jen Loves Reviews because Jen Love was my actual name. So now I'm Jen Loves Reviews. So yes, Jen Love 37. Oh my gosh, I watched the live chat two weeks ago, but I forgot I forgot it afterwards. <laughs> okay. I remember you being in here. Uh, Lily says, good morning. Good morning, Lily. Um, Arshi says, good morning. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Uh, I know she have a live nail polish. Do you have any, do you love any specific one? Uh, I talked about this a little bit last week. Uh, I don't love any specific nail polish more than others. Um, just because I have so many favorites in my nail polish collection. So many things that I absolutely love. Um, some brands that I love consistently are Formula X, Julep, um, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, even though it cracks, um, it'll, it'll like actually crackle on my nails, um, but it's less expensive, so I don't mind, you know, painting my nails more often. Um, the Maybelline Color Show is uh, the Metallics line, if you can find that, is amazing. Um, let's see. I don't mind the Wet n' Wild Mega Slicks uh, as far as comparison with the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Those are pretty nice. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Those are kind of my favorite brands of nail polish, but I have so many favorite nail polishes, like it's kind of ridiculous. So I, I don't I don't even know. I, I wouldn't even know what to say as far as my favorite nail polish. Right now I'm wearing the one that I got in my um, Sephora, the, the VIB Rouge bag. Well, actually, I think that John got this one. It's called Quantum. And then I put little giraffes on it. I don't know if you can see this. I stamped little giraffes on it. Let's see if I can get that to... Aren't they cute? My little giraffes. But this is last to me. This is the fourth day I've had this on, and you can see there's no chipping. No chipping. So I really, really like the Formula X um, formula a lot. I do. Um, yeah, and then I use my, um, I always use my Sesh Feet top coat. I know some people don't like this, but I really love it. So, yeah, that's a little nail polish action going on for you, Arshi. Okay, and then Lily says, so I'm at New Mexico. Da, 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 da. Ooh, it lets me use my down arrow. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Nikki's talking about that, um, the Sephora bronzer. She said it was at the, at, the, at the store, but it's not on the website yet. The bronzer kit, the Sephora favorites bronzer kit. That's really cool. Okay. Nikki said, oh, Nikki's talking to Lily. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, Amber was flagged as, spam, flagged as spam. No, not spam, Amber, not spam. Thank you, Amber. She said good morning and happy Mother's Day. Not spam for Amber. Okay. What? Co oh, <laughs> Amber says, what company would you like to team up with? Uh, Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Ah, see, like any company that I would want to team up with, I don't think that they would they 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 team up with people. Like, if I could collaborate with Kat Von D, that would be amazing. <laughs> but I don't think that's possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, like a little like a smaller brand. I don't know, man. That's that's a great question. I don't know. That's a tough question. What brand would I want to partner up with honestly like i'd love to partner up with any indie brand i think that would be fun you know to just somebody that has really good quality products you know like um how samantha riley uh teamed up with serenity and scott uh and i know um sanders if you're still here sanders has done some work with serenity and scott their quality of their eyeshadows is amazing i looked on their website though and they're really expensive so i don't know like how that would work like their their nine pan shadows was like eighty dollars or something ridiculous like are you kidding me like they're good but eighty dollars like what um so i don't i don't know what's up with that but it would have to be a company the number one puts out really quality products number two they have to be relatively reasonably priced they, they, it can't be astronomically priced because that's just that most of my subscribers won't be able to buy it. And I'm not trying to promote something that'll, you know, make someone break the bank. You know what I'm saying? Um, even though I think they did, they did bump the price down for Samantha's palette a bit, I think. But um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like I'd be open, you know, cause I, it's just, it, it'd be fun to just design some products as long as they were, they would have to be really good quality. That would just be my number one thing. Hopefully that answered your question. I know that's terrible to not really be specific, but um, I've never tried ColourPop. 
products. So I don't, I can't really speak to those. Of course, I've heard amazing things, but I can't really speak to those. And I don't think they, they, they're going with Danny and Kathleen, which is not me. So, <laughs> so chances are they would not want me to be with them because their, their channels are very different than mine. Uh, let's see. Nikki's talking about Karina's channel. Um, yeah. Oh, Stacy from Polished Ways. I have been YouTube friends with Stacy from Polished Ways since I had like 400 subscribers. Like, it's been Stacy and I have been friends for a really long time. She is hilarious. She's very loud though. Like, people get on me about yelling at the camera. If you want to see someone yell at the camera, go to Stacy at Polished Ways. That girl yells at the camera. Oh my goodness. She's just so passionate about nail polish. I do love Stacy though. She's hilarious. She's really funny. I love Stacy. Uh, let's see. Glad you're feeling better, Nikki. Nikki said she was sick. Oh, Lana's here from Makeup Girl Rocks. Another one of my longtime friends here on YouTube. She says, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Oh, let's see. Okay, Amber says you can't post comments from the app. No, you can't. You cannot. Uh, if you're watching this on a mobile device, YouTube does not allow you to comment on the chat. You have to be on a desktop, laptop, computer. I don't know why. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry you lost your comment, Amber. Oh, so odd. Um, Diane says, Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. Uh, Nikki, da, 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 da. they're all talking to each other. Leanne says, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Leanne. Uh, let's see. Kelly says, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Uh, Beauty Hall 4 in 1. Jen, have you tried the new cover FX custom drops yet? No. No. Lily told me they were sticky. So I haven't gotten them yet. I, and I haven't been to Sephora recently. I've been really um, busy with my jobby job is crazy right now. Like I have so much going on with my job and then with videos and editing and the kids and the house, my husband's been working like a crazy person because we're trying to move. So he hasn't been doing as much around the house as he normally does because he's just not home to do it. So I've been picking up a lot there where I'm used to him doing a lot around the house. Like he's my house husband. He usually does a lot of that stuff, but he hasn't been doing it because he's been working so much. So I've been doing a lot of the stuff around the house. And I just, it's, it's just been crazy lately. So I have not made it to Sephora. Um, but I do, I do want to try them. Even though the last time Lily told me something, I, I she just tell me, Lily told me about the shade and light contour palette that she loved the colors, but it doesn't last on her. And I was like, well, I'll try it anyway. I'll get it. And I totally agree with her and I'm probably going to end up returning it. Even though it's beautiful to go on, it just doesn't last. So I'll probably end up returning that. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet because it's nice for filming, you know, to do the contour. I don't, I don't have it on that long when I'm filming. So, you know, um, I might still keep it. I haven't decided yet, but no, but Lily said that it didn't ever set completely and it see it a little sticky on her skin. So now I'm scared to try it, but I probably will get it anyway and then just return it if I don't like it. Cause it's just so neat. Like I would love to mix the custom color drops with like um, with like a good like sunscreen or with some of like my oils and things. I think that would be awesome. So, all right. Um, hopefully that answers your question. So no, I haven't gotten them, but I do want to get them. Uh, Flores, uh, Flores talk. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Norma says, Jen, happy mother's day. Thank you so much. I enjoy how you tell it like it is. I try to girlfriend. I try to, it's just, I've never been one to sugarcoat things in my life. Like I've never been somebody that would do that. Like I've always been extremely open. That's just who I am as a person. So I don't think I can have a channel any other way. Holly says, hello. Speaking of perfumes, she's been a frag fragranista since age 13. That's awesome. Blend. Oh, the blend number six, clean musk is gorgeous. Really? That's the one where you get like all the different, um, you get like a bunch of different ones and then you can mix them together to make your own custom scents. She ordered from Sephora last week. Um, and Katie Puckrick is her favorite scent reviewer. I will definitely have to check that out. Katie Puckrick. Okay. I don't have anything to write with. I'll have to, hold on a minute. Katie Puckrick. What do I have to write with? I don't even know. I don't have anything to write with. Okay. I'm just gonna have to remember that or yeah, I'll just have to remember that. Katie Puckrick. Okay. Yes, I'll have to check that and see if she's better than the Fragaholic because Greg is amazing. All right. Pond's BB cream is sold here in the Philippines. Oh, it is. Okay, so it looks like it's relatively inexpensive there. Very cool. And let me go back and make sure I know how to pronounce your name because I didn't, because it's definitely not phonetic in any way. And I want to go back and I don't want to get it wrong. Shayna. Shayna. Okay. Shayna, Shayna, Shayna. I have to remember that. Mm. 
gonna be, I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember. Shayna. Okay, so sh thank you, Shayna. I'll have to check and see. Have you guys seen the Pond's BB Cream still in the stores? I didn't think they sold it anymore, but that would be awesome if they did. If they do sell it, I definitely recommend the Pond's BB Cream. Um, let's see. Okay, let me see. Okay, Becky says, yeah, you made it, Becky. Thoughts on the Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro Palette? They look just like the Lorac Pro. I, I've heard of those. I know nothing about it. I have, I have no education about that at all. I haven't seen them, um, but I don't, I don't know anything about them. I wish I knew something, Becky. I'm sorry. I, ah, you finally made it, and you have a question that I don't know the answer to. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Jessica's talking about my son being a goober behind me. Uh, let's see. Oh, the Bye Bye Under Eye. I forgot the, uh, about that. We were talking about the It Cosmetics. I got a sample size of the Bye Bye Under Eye, and I really, really liked it a lot. It is really intense, though. Like, no joke. Like, you have to use the teeniest, tiniest little amount of that concealer, and, and it will work. Like, it's just, woo! It's crazy. I've also heard that it creases on people if you have a lot of fine lines under your eyes. It did not crease on me, but that doesn't mean it won't crease on other people. So, uh, let's see. What is your all-time favorite foundation? All-time favorite? If I had to pick one foundation as my all-time favorite, it would be this one. This is the uh, Hourglass Immacul Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation. I love this stuff. I wish it was a better color match for me. It's not a perfect color match for me, so I do have to mix it with other things right now. Hopefully, when, after I'm, I've started self-tanning a little bit. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I st well, probably not in this lighting, but I started self-tanning a little bit, so I'm hoping that uh, this will turn into my natural, not my, well, the skin color that I am once I start self-tanning a bit, but this definitely is amazing. It's probably my favorite. As far as drugstore, um, right now, the Maybelline Fit Me, Matte and Poreless. Um, but again, I've said this before, and I will say it again, it is for normal to oily skin, not for dry skin. It sticks to dry patches, but I love this stuff too. Um, another one, I, I know you said one, but these are different kinds of products. The um, Lumine CC Cream is amazing as well. I really love that. Uh, and they're different types of products. So I'll go with the hourglass, but then there's a couple of bonuses on there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sarah says, my birthday's next month, and I'm from Australia. What's the best eyeshadows to buy online? I don't know what you can get in Australia. I don't know what you can get and what you can't get. And I don't know what you like. So if you like natural eyeshadows, I would say go with one of the Urban Decay Naked Palettes, whichever one calls to you. I would especially recommend the Naked 1 or the Naked 2 because the 3 has so many mixed reviews. I don't own it. I own the 2 and I love it. It is what partially what inspired the continuation of this as a makeup channel because it is so easy to use. It's amazing. Also, the Lorac uh, Pro, if you'd like something with a little bit more color, or if you like these tones, um, the Lorac Pro 2 is one that I can speak personally about. I've heard, lot, of course, lots of good things about the original Lorac. Those are so fun to play with. I really, really like these a lot. So those would be my two recommendations if you can get those. Uh, but I don't know what you can get in Australia, but if you can get those, I would say those. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tara says, have you tried the Julep Oxygen Base Coat? I tried it this week and I got bubbles. Oh, no. Well, it is an oxygen base, oxygen base coat. <laughs> so I guess it, you know, it infuses bubbles. I haven't had that problem with mine. Um, I like it. I don't see anything magical about it, but I haven't had bubbles with it. Oh, no. You should let them know that you got bubbles with it, especially if it's brand new. And maybe they'll do something as far as crediting your account because that's not, that's not right. That shouldn't have happened to you. Uh, Nikki says she has over 600 polishes. Oh, goodness, girlfriend. What do you want to tell me, buddy? No, we're not going to Grandma and Papa's today. You do? Okay, well, we can call them and see what they're doing. But I don't think we're going to be able to go see them today because it's short notice. No, I'm not finished. I'm in the middle of chat right now. I have 20 minutes left. But can I talk to you in 20 minutes, please? Okay. All right. Okay, I know, sweetheart, but I'm almost done, okay? Give me 20 minutes, please. Lila, can you take your brother in the other room, please? Okay, bye Thank bye. you so much. All right. Bye. John? Help. Bye -bye. <laughs> <gasps> okay. All right. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. Um, but I can't. I can't. They're, they're my kids, and they love me, and I have trouble. I can't. I have trouble. So, you know, it's real life. Okay. Uh, Nikki said she has 600 polishes. She needs the D-stash. I need to D-stash, too. I'm totally with you. 
Um, she loves Sesh Feet too. Flacca says, for the VIB and VIB Rouge and Sephora, they got a new gift from Bobby Brown. Oh, really? I, there is a, there, wait, there was a new gift? Like you actually got it like for free or was it with points? Because I think I saw a 500 point Bobby Brown one. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot, they have a lot of good perks at Sephora. Diane says, I don't even want to count how many polishes I have. I know I'm overflowing out of my trays there. I mean, I'm like, this is, this is, look at this. I, I'm overflowing. And I've got some in a drawer over here. Like, I, I'm overflowing. It's stupid. And my stupid butt just ordered um, from Julep the $30 May mystery box. That's how I get a lot of Julep polishes is I get the mystery boxes. It's $30. The two polishes that are they've said that are in there look amazing. There's like a beautiful pink and a beautiful purple. And I don't have any colors like those. So I really wanted to get that. And then it's like $130 or something stupid of, of stuff in there for $30. And that, that's a lot, really, how I get a lot of my jewel polishes is from that. So I don't know why I got it. Because I wanted it. That's why. And I haven't, I haven't bought a, anything this month. For the, for the first 10 days of May, I bought nothing. Nothing. And the only thing I bought in April was the stuff I bought in IMATS, and I didn't buy that much at IMATS. So, and the VIB Russo, and I didn't buy that much. So, I felt like I was being pretty good, so I got it. Do I need more polishes? No, I don't need more polishes. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, Nikki says she doesn't care for the base or top coats from Julep. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, they're fine. They're not amazing. She likes Zoya's color lock system. I have some Zoya polishes that I really like. I don't know a lot about their, um, about, like, their bases and top coats, though. I haven't gotten into those. All right. Shana says, what camera do you use to film? I don't know what it is. Honestly, let me get it, because I don't know what it is. Somebody, 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 John's trying to tell me what it is. It's this right here. This thing right here. This, wow, I'm about to drop it. This is the Sony NEX 5T. Uh, John bought this as a vlogging camera. I have a Canon T3i, and uh, I like this better. Uh, it auto focuses, and uh, I really like the, the quality of it, so I switched over to this. And it, this is considerably cheaper than the Canon T3i, and I really, really like it a lot. So, yes, this is what I used to film. And the lens cap isn't on it. It's on the floor. Ah, my lens cap on. Sometimes when I'm done filming at 1 o'clock in the morning, I just forget to put the lens cap back on. All right, but that's the, that's what I used to film. Uh, let's see. Tyler. I just got an email that beauty.com friends and family sale starts this week 20% off. What? That's good to know. Lots of good stuff on beauty.com. Uh Yesenia says, YouTube is not letting me see you. Oh, no. Hit refresh. Refresh, Yesenia. Refresh. Okay. Ooh, Flacca says, code VIB long for the Bobby Brown stuff. Cool. Thanks, Flacca. Okay. Uh, Nikki says, Jen, did you get the KL Color Pop Quad? No. I have their products and had to grab hers. They just came out with bronzers a few days ago, so my next order will be highlights and bronzers. I saw a review, and I can't remember off the top of my head whose review it was of the highlighters, and she got all of them. And she did not like them. She said it's a totally different formula than the eyeshadows and the blushes. And she did not like them. Um, she's like, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. And they completely bomb the highlighters, according to her. So you might want to watch some reviews before you buy too many of the highlighters. Um, as far as the bronzers, I don't know anything about those. Um, one day I may get some ColourPop stuff. One day I might not. I mean, they're just, it's YouTube is just so saturated with ColourPop. And it's like, do I need ColourPop? You know, I just, I liked being different. You know, and it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get it. I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So um, Shana says the the LA Splash Lip Couture, I got one at IMATS and I did like it. Um, tips for you. Okay, that's another one. Um, I did like it. It was very pigmented. Um, it didn't have the lasting power as the other one, the other LA Splash one. Was LA Splash now? I don't remember. Do I have it here in my bag? I still have my IMAX bag like sitting next to me. But not everything is in here because I've been using things. No, that's a nail polish. Terrible nail polish. Speaking of nail polish, this stuff is terrible. This is called the Everglaze Extended Wear. It's by China Glaze. Oh, it's horrible. It's 
horrible. I got five of them and they're terrible. No, of course it's not in here. You know, I got I I I hadn't even ever heard of those LA splash thingies before I went to IMAX, and then I heard everybody talking about them. So it's like oh, I'll get some, and then I I don't know what in the world I did with them. Are they in here? Let me see. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is LA Girl. See, that's that's what I don't. That's why I needed to find it. This is the LA Girl flat finish pigment gloss. See, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I buy so much stuff, girlfriend. I buy so much stuff. I don't. I lose track of things. Yeah, I didn't get L.A. Splash. I got L.A. Girl. But this stuff was kind of good. This one is in... I don't know the shade. Bizarre. I was wearing this in one of the videos. But it goes on kind of oily. But it dries really nice. It dries really pretty. I wore that in one of my um, IMAX vloggy things. Um, and then I can't, I don't, I bought another one and I don't know what in the world I did with it, but it wasn't LA Splash. See, this is the thing. I don't watch a lot of big names, so I miss a lot of this stuff. You know, all the ones that are like the big hype things, I miss them. Unless somebody under a hundred thousand subscribers is talking about it, I don't even see it. Um, I'm su subscribed to Nicole Guerrero and I'm subscribed to, um, What's the other one? Jaclyn Hill, but I don't really watch their videos much, even though I probably should. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying they're bad. And I think that they, they seem like really nice people, but I just, I'm not as interested in their videos for some reason. Like they don't call to me. I don't know. They're just so perfect. And I, perfection isn't attractive to me. I don't, <laughs> is that bad? I mean, when somebody looks perfect, and does everything perfect, like that's not attractive to me as far as somebody I want to watch. I'd rather watch someone that is perfectly imperfect. Oh, do you like my mug, by the way? What part of no don't you understand? I got that from my students because, you know, I just thought it was cute. Some of them laugh. Some of them don't get it at all. Uh, let's see. Okay, moving on. YouTube tips for beginners. Okay, biggest tip for beginners is to know what you're going to say before you start filming. So have an idea of where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want to talk about. But my biggest tip for beginners is don't apologize. Don't apologize for your lighting. Don't apologize for your camera. Don't apologize for your cold that you have because nothing will turn me off more to a channel than when somebody comes on and says, I just want to apologize. My hair looks like crap today. I've been out in the sun and, you know, my hair's just really frizzy and I'm sorry for my lighting. It's like, get to the point. I didn't, I didn't come here to watch you, you know, feel bad about why you're not perfect. It's okay not to be perfect. Just, just talk about the makeup. Talk about what you love. Don't be self-conscious of all the things that, that make you not perfect like just be you and you are perfect the way you are and talk about what you came to talk about jump right into it give people information that they will appreciate and that they will love and and they will love you you just, you just don't stop apologizing I get so tired of going to channels that people say come check out my channel and then all it is in every beginning of every video for the first two minutes is apologies like it's okay it's okay just tell me about the makeup <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, yeah, and then just kind of have a plan. You know, get in, get into the topic, say what you want to say, give all that great, useful information, and then pop out of the video. Um, you know. All right, but that's that, those are my biggest tips for beginners. So, and I love you too. Thank you for keeping coming back to chat. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, Nikki's just talking to me about ColourPop, so I just read that, Nikki. Okay, and then Fleck, uh, did anyone get the new Mother's Day package from LaRock? It was cute. They had a gold set and a rose set. Ooh, I didn't see that one. I saw the, um, the was it Tarte or Too Faced? I always get them confused. I think it was Tarte where you could do the custom set, but it was all sold out by the time I saw it. Uh, let's see. Okay, Jen, you should check out Beauty DNA. No, I haven't heard about that. Uh, monthly subscription, $25, full-size high-end products. Ooh, that's another thing I need to look at. See, this is why I love talking to you all. I learned about the fragrance person, and I learned about Beauty DNA. I got to check this stuff out. Uh, Yodelin says, I found my shade and light palette last if I use it with good setting spray. Okay. I have setting sprays that I can use. I have this one that I never use. It just sits up here. I've had this for probably six months, and it's this much gone. Because I always forget to use it. But that's good to know. Now I'm going to use it. Hey, Lily, did you hear that? Yodelin says use a good setting spray. See if that helps you. Okay, text me. Let me know. All right. Um, but thank you very much. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
Sarah says, hello from Kansas City. Hi, thank you to the person who explained the thing about commenting through the app. I was sad I couldn't make comments. Well, I'm glad you're here, Sarah. Um, Jen, can you disregard my other social media messages? Yes, I will. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Flory says, um, Colt Nails went out of business. Yep, I, and I got some stuff from Colt Nails before they went out of business from, um, from Hot Look. And I wasn't that impressed with it. So, mm, I don't know. But they just lots of Instagram. That's interesting. They went out of business, but they're still on Instagram. Maybe they're about to change their name and like be reinvented or something. Uh, let's see. Dana says, hi from sunny Washington State. What are your thoughts on BH Cosmetics? BH Cosmetics is very hit or miss with me. Um, every once in a while, I find something good from BH Cosmetics, but I'm a much bigger Coastal Sense fan than a big BH Cosmetics fan. Um, the one BH Cosmetics product that I would highly, 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 highly recommend, if you like color, if I can find it, there it is, is I need to pull this out now that it's spring, summer. It was at the bottom from the winter is the Galaxy Chic palette. Oh, my gosh. Or Galaxy Chic, however you want to say this. I have a full review of this palette, but holy gajoli. This is an amazing palette. Like, honestly, I would pay $40 for this palette. I would. Because this, the shadows are that stinking amazing. I mean, like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. I'm just going to swatch a few of these just so you can see how beautiful they are. Let me see. See if I can get these. Let me flip over to the view of the, see if I can see myself so I can see whether you're going to be able to see these or not. Hold on. Because I want to show you these because this is important here. Okay. Let's see. I mean, seriously, look at those things. And that's how they transfer to the eye too. Like that's how bright they are in the eye. Like that's not just finger swatches. That's real. That's like real life right there. Like amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Would totally recommend. Now I have nowhere to put this. Okay. Hold on a minute. I have random paper towels lying around. That was from my breakfast that I ate as I was getting ready. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's 1053 already. Oh, this time goes by so fast. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, but yes, this is my favorite by far BH Cosmetics um, palette. I've gotten a couple other things, eyeshadow palettes from them, and I did not like them. They were powdery and terrible. So that one, though, that one is amazing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Flecka says BH Cosmetics has great sales going on this week. Awesome. I missed that. That stinks. I should have put that in What's Up in Makeup. Uh, let's see. Okay, Fleck is talking about a contour and blush palette. I'm not sure what brand you're talking about, Flecka. Oh, BH Cosmetics probably, because she's talking about that in a minute. Um, sale price is $9. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. I missed that for What's Up in Makeup. Where were you on Friday when I was filming? Uh, Sarah says, could you hook up with, you could hook up with Kat Von D. You guys own a tattoo shop and she's a tattoo queen. That would be amazing. Oh, my gosh. I just like her as a person. Like, she just seems like an awesome person. Like, I would love to just hang out with her. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Gold Digger. I can only see Jen's live chat on my PC. I cannot see it live on Roku or Amazon Fire. That's good to know. That's good to know. Sarah said I skipped her question. Sarah, what happened? How did I miss your question? All I see is that... Um, you said about the person explaining the comments through the app. And disregard your comments. How did I miss your question? I'll go back up, Sarah. I'm sorry. Where are you? Oh, okay. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I answered your question. I'm from Australia. One of the best eyeshadows that I could buy online. And I said about the, I said about the, uh, the naked palettes. I said pick one or two, probably three if it super calls to you. And then I said the Lorac. So if there was another question that I missed, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay, I'm back down. Sarah, uh, send me a message or something if I missed it. If I if I didn't answer your question, send me send me a message or send me an email at jenlovesreviews at gmail.com and I'll answer it. Okay, um, Yesenia says, stay away from all of the wet and wild cheap. Really? The wet and wild cheap products? No way. The limited edition trios and bronzers, they just disappear. They just blend away. Lip tints are very soft and extremely sheer. Okay, that's good to know. Now, I agree with you on the limited edition trios and bronzers, but I do not agree on the cheap product thing. I love my wet and wild blushes. Um, I have a couple of them. This is the one that I'm just pulling out in pearlescent pink. It does have a little bit of shine to it, but I love this blush. 
I don't think this goes away. I love this one. I love, uh, but you know, everyone has their own things. And you know what? Depending on skin type, things last longer on some people than others. But I do love the blushes, I'll say. Um, I don't own any of the lip tints um, at all. So I don't know anything about that. Uh, but I, And I completely agree with you on the limited edition trios and bronzers. Totally agree on that. Nikki said, bye bye under eye. You have said it, you have to set it right away. That's good to know. Uh, let's see. I love how you guys are adding each other so that I know who's who's talking to who. Anyone seen uh you said you said anyone seen the new Maybelline matte lip color shades? I haven't seen them in person, I've just seen them online. Flory says, Jen, my last two Ulta trips, the tartlet and sugar pop has been sold out. Oh no. Okay, I seriously I'm trying so hard not to get that tartlet palette. It's so amazing. Oh my gosh. So she just gets more polishes. <laughs> Girl, Graham, we are on the same page on that. Okay, I got three minutes left. You send you says wet and wild hit and mess. Yep. Uh, Benefit Girl. Hi, Amanda. It's good to see you. Finally up there early enough to join. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much, Amanda. Amanda's been a YouTube friend of mine forever. Lily says, Jen, I seriously wish we lived closer. I know. John, Lila, and Rocco would get along so well. I know that. I know they would. And we would go out shopping. Lily and me. We would go shopping if they live closer. She lives half what half a country away. Uh, Jessica says, Don't apologize for answering your babies. <laughs> I know, but it's 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 distracting. We're here for a purpose here. Nikki says, anyone like benefits erase paste? Uh, I, I had a best friend in college who swore by the erase paste. She had a significant acne scarring, and that was like her holy grail was the was the um, benefit erase paste. She went to we went to Sephora one day. This was before I was really into into makeup, and um, we went to Sephora and they hooked her up with a whole bunch of stuff, and that was one thing they recommended. And then it was like her holy grail after that. Um, she didn't ever want to pay for a new one. That was the only thing <laughs> she didn't ever want to buy a new one. But she loved that and swore by the benefit erase paste. Uh, let's see, Flory, anybody ever try the Miss Manga Rock Mascara? It does look crazy. That stuff scares me, girlfriend. That scares me. Um, let's see, Jen, a gold digger says she has an empty nest now. One day I'll have, I, I'm trying to hold on to my babies as long as I can. That's why I definitely have to go at 11 so we can spend Mother's Day together in a couple minutes. Uh, let's see, Nikki says, Jen, I'm such a sucker for Julep's mystery bag too. I know, it's really hard not to get that. Um, if there's a makeup bag included them, I know, and there's a makeup bag in this one and it looks beautiful. Uh, $150 in retail product with them included. Yes, I know. Yes. And, and when you're a maven, you can skip months. I skipped last month. So that's another reason why I can justify getting the mystery bag is because I skipped last month. Oh, Leanne says she's been told her under eye circles are shadows from eye bags. Has anyone discovered a good solution for hiding them or at least minimizing them? Um, I, I I tell everybody and this every every week. I'm like, dude, the bombs concealer, the bombs concealer. But I don't have like serious like I'm not wearing any makeup right now, so you can see I'm, I don't have a significant issue. But this is my favorite. But if anybody else has any suggestions for Leanne, bring up under eye bags. Angela says, love from Chicago. I went to Chicago once when I was 20 and I successfully got kicked out of all of the clubs there. And to the point where I actually went to one club and they gave me a fake ID that didn't look anything like me. It was like a woman that looked like she was from India and I tried to use it at the next club and it was bad. It was bad. I was, I was three weeks away from turning 21 and I got kicked out of all the clubs, but it was fun. It was fun. We had a good time, my friend and I. Uh, Tara says, what do you use for lighting your videos? Right now I'm using just a ring light. I have a Diva, I don't, I don't know if it's Diva light brand, but I have one ring light is all I'm using right now. I have some box lighting, uh, but I'm too lazy to set it up. Uh, my last, please tell me because my last what's up and make a video, the one that went up today, I light, I lit it a bit differently. I put it really high up instead of around the camera like I normally do. So let me know if the lighting looked better in that video than it typically does, or if it looked the same or whatever. But if you noticed any difference, let me know because I'm really Really, really curious as to see because a big critique that I get is my, my videos are too dark compared to a lot of the more pro channels um, so I'm trying to improve on that I have no natural light like this is my natural light which you're seeing right now that's it I have a little window here I have two little windows over there that is all I've got so um, I would love to hear your comments about my lighting if you uh, have any suggestions but that's all I use is one uh, ring light right now all right, it's 11 o'clock. Let me see if there's anything I can answer quickly. Um, Jessica says, Jen, if you have a P.O. box, I'm sending you some color pop you need in your life. 
I am. I would not. I talked about this before. I do not tell people not to send me things. If you really want me to try it, I will. I will accept it. I just, you know, I feel funny when people send me stuff. But I do have my husband's business address is in the about section of my uh, channel. So if you ever want to send me letters, or if you insist on sending me ColourPop, I that's where you would send it to. Um, it's uh, Tattooed Heart Studios, Seven Vernon Avenue. And that's in Glen Burnie, Maryland, 21061. But again, it's in my about section of uh, my channel because I know I said that really fast. So, but anyway, I think that's it for today. I don't see anything else very closely uh, close that. Um, that I that a lot of people just talking to each other. So I thank everybody so much for joining me today and happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers. I said this in the beginning, but whether you're a mother of a human child, whether you're a mother of a furry child or a feathered child or a scaled child, uh, you know, an animal mother, or if you are just a mother to your friends where you are kind of a caregiver and you know, if, if you are in any way mother like, happy Mother's Day to you. Uh, this is a this is a day that we share as women for um, for taking care of other people. And, and whether you're a literal mother or a figurative mother, this day is for you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all more than you will ever know. Uh, you guys are amazing. And and I, I seriously like this is this is what I love to do. And it's all because of you. And I thank you so much for being here. And I will see you all in a video very, very soon. Mad love. Have a great day. Bye.